because I didn't know about every box thing either. Oh wow, it was only two levels, haha. <laughs> well, this is going to be a lot shorter thing than I thought. Confronting. Ganasty Gnork. There we go, now it ends in a zero. Alright, this is actually a fairly easy thing. Ah, uh, yeah. There, there are a lot of gems in here. But it is a fairly easy boss. Just go and get that key and then, yeah. This is kind of always kind of a fun boss fight for me. Ah, uh, yeah. Just go and kill that thief you're gonna need to. Right, we're still not done with the eggs. There was a point in getting, or getting all of those eggs. Not kidding. Kidding was in the board. Got him. Alright, so we hook that up for Steve. 123 of the gems. Oh, this is as easy as 1, 2, 3. It's actually 1, 2, but. Well, three of them, I think. Then you gotta go chase this little green bastard. Oh yeah, I won't actually leave the mouse pointer this time. Oh, I was pretty... I don't know. I just left the game last time for some reason. And I just go through the door, so that I get all the treasure that I miss. Yeah. One seventy-seven. Now this key, after I get this, is the one that you take over here. And then you just chase this big dream caster. Right next is just another thief. He doesn't actually attack you uh, after the beginning. Well, he's a little bit more complicated. We'll see why in just a second. Somebody else went into the garage. Ah. Actually, you can't really catch him like a normal thief. Uh, you really have to get up there and then hit him as soon as you got up there. Or as soon as you get up there so that he doesn't run away like he did with me. But this is a fairly uh, good way to make a platform boss, I feel always thought. I mean, make an actual platforming level, but, and yes, it gets platform. Damn you, nasty! Get nasty, you know. Yes, I see those chests there. I'm not. I'm trying to kill nasty right now. I'm not actually trying to get those chests. I'll get those back. This was actually the reason I never beat this game as a kid, is because I couldn't do this. But hey, that was pretty good for a four-year-old. Alright, so now you kill him and get 25 bucks for it. Cool. Uh, then this is where things get kind of platformer-ish. If you know this guy's sword, that's what you're going Haha, Nork, you're toast. And then, yeah, you just killed Nasty. I, I, it was a... Sorry it took so long. I kind of forgot about you. Easy what boss. What about Nasty Gnork? Nasty Nork? He's toast! So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? 
Well, mostly. I still got some trade to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky is the limit. Alright, so then we got this. But, oh uh, yeah, he was fairly easy. Which I can't skip past. So enjoy the credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, those guys have the same last name. Chris McNutley? Is that what it just said? I've seen my name a few times. Suan. Not my first and last name, but my first name. I've also seen my cousins. Oh, I know that guy's paying two first names. Everybody always confuses it. Like, that guy was Michael John. It's always, He always is gonna get, Hey, John, how's it going? My name's Michael. Oh, yep. Sorry. Ben G. That is, wow. I've never seen that before. How does that pronounce? Nigga? Stuart Copeland! I love the police. That's right. I'm a teenager who loves the police. Zambillis. Hello, great crit. Wow. Go. I, I, mean, I don't have a long last name, so. I, I don't really know what you guys go through, but. I can't imagine. Oh! There it is again. That is good. Oh, I can't do that well. I wonder if he's related to Brittany. Hmm. That last guy. Susan McCready. <laughs> That's pretty good. I forgot about that. Uh, Alright, so now I'm gonna go through Nasty's world and get that loot. Yeah, Nasty Nork. Hey, I just need... 21 more gems from Nasty Nork. Uh-oh. That's right, you gotta refight him again. I forgot about that. Alright, so I cut it, obviously, like, where I had to go chase down those seeds. It actually didn't take me that long, but, you know, eh, what the hell. But I decided to leave this in, because I know you guys love me. All, however many of you are there. Alright, this is one gem. Where could it be? Not up there. I might just kill him so that I can open it up. Oh, where I missed it. So I'm not getting into that secret world without it. Alright, I might not do that. This time. Yeah, uh, this time anyway. Let's see, did I leave it on that bridge? Did I not? Well, oh, didn't leave it on that bridge. Probably somewhere in that other area that you fight him. Like I said, I don't want to stop this. One gem should be like, oh yeah, just something I missed, but I don't want to stop this video and I need it to get in there anyway, so I'm going to go forward. Fuck you, nasty. Now. Oh yeah, I didn't hit the wall. Let's see, where is it? 
I wonder what this track looks like from above. Alright, it's got it right here. Unless I missed it with the thieves. It's really good this one. Oh yeah, and if you notice, those things are slowly shrinking back in. So yeah, you really have a... Uh, you're really kind of strapped for time. I noticed that last time, but I forgot to point it out. Damn it. Ow. Maybe I should go check back with the thieves. Ah, uh, well, I don't have a choice. Yeah, I forgot to mention that too. If you die... Yeah. So... I guess I won't cut this part if you guys, or if I find it through the beams. Oh, found it! Ha, there, there was that last one that I needed. So I guess I won't cut that out. And I'll just exit level because you don't actually need to beat Nasty. Ah, 12,000 gems. So now we go into... Yeah, the... Yeah, I gotta get that guy. Magnus. I've rescued him before. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. I have. See, look. 100. Okay, you can't see, but I'm pointing at it. Well, I'm not anymore, but... Good nasties loot. Treasure found. Zero. Drum roll. Yep, this is the secret world. There are 2,000 gems in here. And look what you can do! Whee! Woohoo! Yeah, this is a fun level. Yeah, you got a little saw with the pipes. And what are the pipes in there anyway? Honestly, if I had one big treasure hoard, I would just keep it in the giant safe. Or a bank.
because you can only go as high as you can before when you jump. So, like, I can't reach that because I can't jump up that high. But I can go a little bit higher now because it's kind of an interesting way to do it. I say the word interesting a lot. It's one of my more interesting traits. Alright, then we're gonna go kill that guy. Gems to get. Plus, I gotta get this other. Probably the job. Like, 
think so. It's just trying to so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where is he? Yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't actually realize it was that bad until I walked in. I was just in like t shirt and jeans. Then I see everybody else in there like tuxedo. I'm like, ew. So I want to get a job there just to say I have a job. But plus, I got my tips are really good. I probably won't get it, but hey, I think it's sweet. Yeah, I got home. My mom goes like, "Wait, where'd you fill out the application?" I tell her, "Just what? You actually got an application from there?" This little awesome cutscene, I think. Spyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say, for every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! Sheep dunk. Uh, if you didn't catch that in the background, they're playing basketball with the sheep. And you get some more credits. Actually, they're the same credits. <laughs> Isn't that fun? 
just with a different background. Um, but yeah. And for those of you who haven't played the second one, no, it is not with Nasty Nork. It's actually with a new guy. And then the third one, same thing. It's with a new guy. And then the fourth one has the guys from the second and third one pairing up, I think. Second and third, I think. No, second, something else. The second one probably had some of the best levels in the uh, series, though, but also some of the worst. Like, that stupid Turtle Beach one. Oof, it still gives me nightmares, but that one with all the fawns and it, it's like my favorite one of all time. Yeah, Jeff and Meg. Here we are at that speedway. I also did music for Weekend at Bernie's. And the Speedway. That was that one that pissed me off. The nasties world. The easiest video game boss ever, yet somehow one of the most frustrated. That takes skill to pull that off. If you're still watching this, I don't think there's anything at the end. I'm still watching this because I have nothing better to do right now. Yep, see, <laughs> exact same thing, nothing different. And there you are. Yeah, you're right back here. Now I'm gonna go on to my favorite level in this game. This one! Alright, so, uh, see you next time for the special mystery, or maybe Musashi, who knows. But I haven't beaten Musashi, so I, um, yeah, I, I am probably going to default to the special mystery one that I actually know stuff about. Oh my god, I just realized the daggers have blood on them. I have to put this level in there now, just for that comment. Oh, well, well yeah. See ya.